ladies and gentlemen, act two of Listen to the Music. You've heard all kinds of music. The angels are so proud that they're able to do just, they're, they're wonderful with, with classical and, and uh, Broadway and uh, church music. I mean, they, they can do virtually anything. Of course, they do barbershop harmony. Barbershop has been a specialty of the angels for years. It's amazing to have a chorus of uh, 160, 180 young folks singing four-part a cappella music. I think we're the largest youth chorus in the country, and that brings a lot of pride to us and to the city of Cleveland, of course. So that's that's been a great thing. I had the opportunity to speak with Bill Bain a few days ago. I sat down with him and said, Bill, you know, let's go back to 1964 and, and tell me how you got involved with barbershop with the kids as opposed to other forms of music. And he said, you know, Jim, the first thing when we founded the Angels, I wanted to guarantee that the music was good. It has to be good. As I was traveling around northern Ohio, Bill said, I kept running into barbershop groups. Uh, and it sounded like and it seemed to be good music. Uh, choruses, quartets. He ran into a fellow by the name of Tom Neal. Tom Neal was a, a chorus director. He sang baritone in the championship quartet. And he finally, after meeting Tom several times, went over to him and said, Tom, would you consider coming and teaching some good barbershop music to my chorus, The Singing Angels? And Tom winced uh, quite a bit, actually, because he thought visually of, what am I going to do teaching music to children? Uh, I'm out teaching music and singing music with adults and, and traveling the country and all this kind of stuff. And Bill persisted. And pretty soon, Tom did come over to one of the rehearsals. And Bill locked the door and asked him to teach a little bit. And he did. And the hook got set at him so viciously it was unbelievable. Because he couldn't believe the talent and the spirit and the excellence of these young people and their desire to learn and to sing well. So he started to teach Barbershop Harmony in 1966. I happen to have in my hands the program from June 5th of 1966 of the Singing Angels. Wow. And they were performing at the Statler Hilton Hotel. Wow. And just before the intermission, there was a section in the program called Barbershop Medley. And it started off with Heart of My Heart, and then it went to Muskrat Ramble. And it was noted that the guest conductor was Tom Mee. So that's when Tom started with the Angels. I was fortunate to be able to share the stage with him in 1972 for a couple of years. 1975, Tom left Cleveland and moved to the West Coast. Uh, took his family with him, and, uh, but he never lost his passion for barbershop. He never lost his passion for the Singing Angels and his support. So, it is with great pleasure and pride that I ask you to bring back the original Barbershop Harmony Director, Mr. Tom Neal.
these kids, I swear to you, are better than ever. Uh, Jen said I left in 1975. I don't know why. It might have had something to do with the weather. I went to San Diego. <laughs> really nice to be back here. Uh, but anyway, I, I do want to, I got to tell you, all the people that when I left, I knew there was only one guy that could do it. And he did it and has done it four times longer than I did. 36 years. Jimmy, take a bow. Jim Ballard. Second number, we're going to uh, do an old Hoagie Carmichael song, uh, made famous by a barbershop quartet, believe it or not, in Pickwell, Ohio, on WLW w Radio in the early days. It was the Mills Brothers. You didn't know that, did you? You didn't know it either. And I'm sure it's true. Uh, anyway, what, we, what we're going to do with that is in the River Theme, we're going to medley this with an old uh, barbershop song called On the Banks of, of the Wabash, Far Away. Now, being a barbershop right now for 60 years, you know, they've got some great quartets, great choruses. In fact, the most fun, we always think, you go to a convention, you see a guy from Seattle, a guy from Miami, a guy from New York, and you see lead tenor, baritone bass, you get in a corner, and you witch it. You can know a song, kind of, but you get your own chords and fit them in. And that doesn't really sound real good to the audience, but it's the most fun you can have in a barbershop, is finding that right chord. Like I say, sometimes the neighbors protested because they wanted to real listen. But well, we're going to give you an idea of what that's really like with the banks, the wall banks, and, and old woodshed, old woodshed style. First lazy river. <laughs> <laughs> 